How's it going guys? It is your man Red and I'm here back to some more Legends content. In today's video, we are going to be going over Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's kit and then we'll follow through with the banner to, sh to determine whether or not you guys should spend your hard earned Chrono Crystals on it. So first, without a doubt, let's start with the Beast in the Kitchen aka Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So this man's kit, let's display max stats right here. Boom. In terms of his stats, it's not really that uh, crazy. It's all it is pretty much average with regarding to strike and blast attack, and as well as his defense is usually around the same thing. But what matters is his kit, and we'll get straight to that. But this unit holds a armor two armor breaking blast card. So essentially, what does this mean is that if your opponent uses a strike um, blast armor attack, this unit or any unit on your team can essentially break it just like a normal just a normal strike that is disgusting this also works on special moves as well guys blast armor special moves don't work if you're going to be using this particular arts card now let's go over to the green aka the special arts this is an aoe that draws one new card restores key by 50 and 20 percent to damage 25 percent to damage inflicted and it's combo you can come you can use this in a combo with strike and blast special move and ultimate arts aoe greens by far are the most broken thing in this game so this go on just having this alongside this man has endurance as well we'll get to that today right away here well, on the main he draws the ultimate arts this unit has two ultimate arts right he draws it on the main and he gets it through a, a unique ability as well but when he activates the main he seals your enemy's rising rush and main ability for 10 timer counts. A main ceiling rising rush and main ability. Plus, he is restoring 30% health and key by 60. Usually it's 50, but they gave an extra 10 because why not here? Now the Z ability standard is just pretty much special move damage and then hybrid Saiyan or Sun Family strike and blast defense. Uh, so this is going to be a sort of nice addition to uh, to pair with this, to pair this unit alongside the Pycon that revives to Super Gogeta because that unit relies heavily on special move damage for Gogeta to, you know, get that nice sweet LF here. Now let's talk about the gauge here. The gauge, so this unit has two broken abilities. When this character is basically, you know, he's standing, he's standing still. If his unique gauge is 30% or more, he consumes the entire gauge to counter an enemy's strike arts or like forward charging attack. like special move as well and he could do this three times he could also combo this into a special move or an ultimate art so it's comboable as well also his blue card works exactly the same as the og blue legends limited super saiyan goku in which if the opponent uses any sort of strike arts blast arts or even a special move gohan's blue card or special move can essentially not necessarily nullify but pretty much counter it with his own blue card and it does hefty hefty ton of damage there overall this gohan is disgusting he is probably one of the best i would say he is the best unit currently in the game here so if you're a huge fan of this super saiyan 2 gohan go ahead and summon on it but let's go over the banner to see if it's actually worth it. All right, so here is the banner for Super Saiyan 2 Ultra Gohan. And the feature list is not that good. Here we have Beast Gohan. He's the OG Beast Gohan here. Um, in this day and age, he's all right. Uh, his gauge is pretty good. He can cover chain strike and blast arts. Decent. Now the cell here, perfect cell. He might be getting a Zenkai Awakening uh, during this week or next week. Uh, so. Most likely he'll be getting in Zenkai Awakening, so we'll see his kit afterwards to determine whether or not he's good or not, but so far he's trash. Right now he's trash in this state. You got the uh, Super Saiyan Gohan here, not that good. And then the broken, the OG broken Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, not that good anymore. Gohan with glasses, could be alright. And then this is garbage, this is Zenkai Bench, garbage, 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 and decent, and then so on and so forth. Overall. If you're short on them Chrono Crystals, I advise you to not summon on this banner. This banner is 13 days, 
there's only one week left or about a week and a half left until the next campaign starts. So if you're a patient one, consider waiting until there's one day left in this matter and then consider summoning for it. Don't summon right now. Wait until the next campaign is revealed. Maybe it's your favorite, who knows? And then summon. But the unit itself is very, 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 very good. So overall, if you guys are going to be summoning on this, if you're a huge Gohan fan, then go ahead and summon for this. You deserve it. That is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down below if you pulled this man right here, and I'll see you guys in the next Legends of Blue. Take care.